Hello, my name is Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about something very interesting, very easy, but yet so powerful and so useful in many cases. So I use it quite a lot, uh, the wiggle expression, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, um, but it's an expression that makes your footage uh, shake, so it's like a screen shake. But Often you have to reconnect everything, retype all your expressions, and it's a very time consuming thing, especially if you use screen shake a lot. And like for example, if you're doing intro slams, or like here, uh, when some guy hits somebody and you want some shake to, to give that extra power to your footage, um, then it can be a very interesting idea to go with a screen shake, but you don't want to spend too much time on it. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a simple preset so you, you make it your own and you can save it and always apply it on any kind of footage that you use and yeah let's get into it uh, so the first thing you need is your footage uh, just import your footage and drag it over into a new composition like here and then we'll work on that footage save our preset and then you can just reapply that preset on all kinds of footage doesn't matter if the resolution is different and things like that so that's awesome uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's click on our footage, go to window and make sure that your effects are visible here, effects and presets, and then this window will pop up. Then let's drag it out here and let's type in transform and this is our transform tool to reposition, rescale our footage like over here. It's exactly the same if, uh, as you can do it on here. The only thing is when you save a preset it's only going to look at your effects and it's not going to look at your footage so it's not going to look at the position of your footage, the scale of your footage and yeah we only want to work with a preset that we can apply so we don't have to retype our uh, our expressions and this is the way to do it to add a transform effect. Then the next thing we'll apply is a motion style preset and let's apply that and put it on top of our transform so this is the first effect we use and then we are going to add a slider control so right here and drag that into our effect and also click on our slider control go to edit and duplicate so we have it two times here and then we're going to alt click here on our slider control the first one we're going to rename this at the frequency and the second one amplitude Oh, and there we go, so rename it so uh, you can know in the future what we're dealing with. Then for the motion tile, let's click on mirror the edges. Uh, what that will do is, like if you are going to move your footage like so, uh, if you are going to expand the height and the width, it's going to repeat your footage. If you are going to click on um, mirror the edges, it's going to mirror that and it's going to be like a little bit seamless, like if you have a screen shake, it's not going to show the edges, so this is also a very cool thing to do. So I'm going to reset my position on also, well, only my position. So, um, okay, we have done the motion tile. Uh, I think 150 is more than good enough, but you can always change that up to uh, whatever you need. Um, then for the position here, here we are going to work and we're going to all click on the position, type in wiggle open parentheses and with our drag here we are going to drag uh, this line here to our frequency and then we're going to press comma on the keyboard and again drag it to the amplitude slider so make sure you drag it onto the slider text then release it and then close it the, the parentheses as well so close it down so we have two over here and then point comma to close our expression so this uh, expression works like a wiggle. A wiggle is just the shake of a random... Uh, it's going to randomize these two values um, for the screen shake. So the, the frequency is how many times a second it's going to move its value. And the value is going to be the amplitude, meaning that it's going to move... For example, if we change the amplitude to, to 50 and the frequency to 5, it's going to move randomly our, uh, our screen here 50 pixels five times a second so it's going to be very quick uh, we're going to uh, let me show you for an example so frequency 5 amplitude 50 and if you're going to preview this you're going to see that there is screen shake so let me introduce a little bit more screen shake so it's a little bit more obvious for you guys but you can see five times a second it's going to shake the screen so this is a very extreme case of doing this but it's uh, just to show you guys so you can zero this out again 
Um, then the next thing we want to do is work with the anchor point here. So we are all clicking on the anchor point and the reason why we're doing that is going to look at the center of your video to change all the values of the wiggle. But of course, if you're going to work with different resolutions, it's not going, it's going to do the exact same thing for full HD on, for example, 4K footage, which is going to mess up your composition. So this is a little bit difficult talk, but the only thing you have to remember is this expression that I'm going to enter. Well, you don't have to remember it. You just have to copy it. Um, so I'm going to paste it in here. I will also include both of these expressions in the description below. So you can just copy it and then paste it on the right spot. Uh, just see for uh, for sure where I'm uh, adding this. Okay. So if we're going to release this, now we have our complete screen shape preset done. So uh, for example, uh, we're going to look for a hit here. So here his arm's going to hit our, uh, well, his enemy. So we're going to click on the stopwatch for the frequency and the amplitude. Then press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes. And if we move one frame forward uh, like, like, until the hit, so two frames forward, we can change the uh, frequency to 8 and the amplitude to 20 and then fade it out over time to uh, let's say 0 and 0 and if you're going to play this back we're going to see some screen shake right when he hits uh, the guy so that's pretty cool maybe it's a little bit too low on the value here but you can see some screen shake so uh, let me change it right over here to like uh, 40 okay let's do that okay so this is pretty cool uh, another thing you can do is also include some motion blur in your screen shake so it's going to be a little blurry when it's shaking which is going to make it look more realistic um, so like so let's preview that in a second okay so this is pretty cool and uh, this is the complete um, preset that we're going to work with the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, deselect the stopwatches and I'm going to zero them out okay so this is our complete preset here that we have already done the only thing that lasts us to do is something that I actually forgot uh, but if we're going to look at the transform here and the anchor point so let's open this up uh, let's go to the transform here and to the anchor point well the transform over here and the anchor point, if we are going to open this up, we have the same uh, expression here that we already wrote down here. We have to copy that expression and also paste it in the center of our motion tile. So alt click and paste it. So let's do it like that. And now we have our complete animation preset. So let's click on something, press uh, control A on the keyboard and let's save this animation preset. Uh, I already have one here. Let's uh, rename it to screen, uh, screen shake 2 and let's save it. Okay, so right now we are working with 4K footage and you don't have to follow along. I'm going to show you uh, just the reason why we are doing uh, this expression here. So let's say this is 4K footage. We also have a uh, Full HD footage. So this is 4K, this is Full HD. Let's drag our Full HD composition uh, into a new composition and let's apply our preset that we just made. And if you're going to apply that, you will see that nothing is actually uh, wrong with it. It all works. So you can see if I'm going to change this um, here, if I'm going to change the value, it's going to shake and it's going to look all right, even though this is a smaller resolution that we worked on previously. Let's say we didn't add these expressions. So I'm going to delete uh, this effect for a second. Let's say I didn't do that. I, I don't have it in this preset. So if I apply this preset, to this composition you will see that it's messed up because it's looking at the center of 4k footage which is probably over here so it's not looking right here so that's why we need that expression just to showcase to you guys so this is it for this tutorial so a cool preset that you can use to make screen shake on all your footage easy so you have a preset that you can apply each time and you don't have to do it over and over and over again like I did for years seriously I've done it for years so if you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you did give it a like if you didn't you know what to do but also subscribe to my channel if you didn't already also check out my channel because I make a lot of tutorials and I will also make a lot of tutorials in the future so if you have any suggestions you can also post them in the comments below and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Take care.